Traditionally, oral contraceptive pills have been dosed based on a typical menstrual cycle. Women take 21 days of active hormone pills and then seven days of placebo pills. During the seven-day hormone-free interval, women experience a withdrawal bleed from the absence of hormones. However, there is no medical reason for a woman to have a menstrual period every month. Extended cycling is an alternate way of dosing combination contraception. Instead of the traditional regimen of 21 days of active hormone followed by a withdrawal bleed, you provide active hormone for several months in a row. You can do extended cycling with monophasic oral contraceptive pills, the contraceptive patch, or vaginal ring. There is no difference in contraceptive efficacy or safety between extended regimens of contraception and standard 28-day regimens. Because there is no difference in daily dose of estrogen, there is no reason to believe that overall clotting risk is increased. Extended cycle contraception can be useful to treat medical conditions that are worse with menses, such as dysmenorrhea, endometriosis, menstrual migraines, and some premenstrual syndromes. One clinical trial of over 100 women found that menstrual migraines improved with extended cycling as compared to traditional 28-day cycles of oral contraceptive pills. The main side effect of extended cycle contraception is irregular bleeding patterns. Most women have more unscheduled bleeding on extended cycle contraception than on the traditional 28-day regimens. However, these symptoms decrease significantly after the first few months on the extended regimen. In fact, many women experience amenorrhea after longer-term use of extended cycle contraception. A randomized controlled trial of 62 women compared the bleeding patterns between a 28-day pill regimen to a continuous 168-day regimen and found no difference in total number of bleeding days between groups. But the incidence of heavy bleeding was significantly lower in the extended cycle group. The presumed mechanism of irregular bleeding comes from endometrial atrophy, which is why many regimens either add low-dose estrogen during the placebo week or shorten the interval of inactive pills. Addition of low-dose estrogen, 0.1 milligrams of ethanyl estradiol, to the placebo pills can significantly decrease the unscheduled bleeding. Extended cycle contraception provides equivalent contraceptive efficacy with decreased amount of menstrual bleeding and improvement in most menstrual-related conditions. Adherence may be limited due to unpredictable bleeding patterns. Family physicians may use low-dose estrogen or shorter hormone-free intervals to minimize irregular spotting and should counsel women that irregular bleeding decreases with length of time on the method.